Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are discussing some of the elements that our theme supports. So let's get started. First let's divide the row into columns and keep going with the first element. The custom heading element is the first element that you are going to use in your theme no matter what. This element is simple and you can use it everywhere. Here I'm going to dedicate the title of the custom heading to the portfolio that we are going to add later. So let's name it to our portfolio. As you can see on the left side of the screen you have the element options. So let's see some of them. First you can choose a heading tag and if you want to change the typography options you can select one of the predefined settings or choose custom font to customize it by yourself. So let's choose the last option here, custom font. Now you can adjust the font size, you can choose the font family, font weight, the line height, the letter spacing between the characters, the text transform to uppercase and select the color of the custom heading. Here I'm choosing a color that matches our page header. Now let's go to responsive options. You can add custom size for this heading for predefined screen sizes. You can also add the animation to custom heading element and adjust the margin, border and paddings manually. To add a border to an element you just need to insert the values in pixels here on the empty fields. And you can also choose the border style and color. On the box design you can also add the values for paddings and margins. Or use the shortcode functions, pressing the shift and dragging the mouse up and down, right or left, to adjust them. Now let's go to another element, which is a text element. Another useful element that you are going to use it. I'm going to add the text element below the custom heading. I'm going to use it as a description. The options of the text element are quite easy, so let's see them. Drag the mouse to adjust the distance between the paragraphs. Here I'm adding another paragraph so you can see clearly. You can adjust the custom typography by enabling this option. Drag the mouse to adjust the text font size. Here I'm doing some padding adjustments. You can also choose the title font weight, the line height, the text transform to uppercase and the color. You can also choose the animation effect if you want. So these are the text element options. Now let's move on to another one. The portfolio. Now you can add the portfolio as a new element on every section that you want. The portfolio element options are divided into general and overlay. We are going to see each one of them in detail on another tutorial that we are going to do only for the portfolio. But today I'm showing you just a few. In general options you can adjust everything about the layout, the style, the columns, the columns gap. You can choose to add the justify gallery. You can choose to add the carousel. And there are also some extra style options. Let's move on to overlay. One innovative feature here is that you can choose a background as an overlay color. And this background can be simply color or a gradient. Here I'm doing a showcase of the existing options. 
You can also choose a content color and add an animation to it. Clicking on the icon that is located to the right bottom of each item, you can edit the portfolio entry options. Some of the extra style options include also the images filter. You can add now a filter to the images like you do on Instagram. These are quite the similar options. Let's see a showcase of the existing options. You can also add a new portfolio item clicking on the plus icon. Let's move on to another element. The divider element is a simple element that helps you divide the sections and add more organization to your site. Let's see some of the options. You can adjust the divider height, set the divider full width. Here it's not on uh, its full width because we have divided the row into columns. So let's add another row to show the full width of the divider element. This row, I'm not going to section it. As you can see, this is the divider full width. If you set the divider full width option off, you can drag the mouse and adjust the divider width by yourself as I'm doing here. Set the color of the divider. You can set the border style and choose between the existing options. You can set the border align. It can be left, center or right and select the style of the divider. It can be simple, two borders or with centered icon. If you choose this option, you can also choose the icon that you want to include between the divider. Here I'm setting the color of the icon, the icon size, and by clicking on the icon, you can choose the style of it. Here you can adjust the margin, borders and paddings. These options are included on every element. This is all we had for today. We are going to continue with the elements on the other tutorials. Have a good day.